Hello everyone. Welcome to another video from Biotechnica. This is Tithi here and today I'm going to talk about unit 3. So I'm what all things I'm going to talk about is the unit 3 from CSI Net Life Science Syllabus. So what all it comprises of. Also I'm going to talk about the important topics from unit 3 and not only that I'm also going to help you in how to uh, how to how to prepare those important topics along with giving you a uh, help and i will tell you the best reference books that you can refer for preparing this unit 3 now what is this unit 3 so i'm very sure you people who have gone through the syllabus you know that this unit 3 the name of the unit three in uh, in the in the uh, csi net syllabus is given as the fundamental processes now, this fundamental process of what are fundamental processes? Nothing but the, uh, the, the molecular biology part. So, this uh, entire subunit, uh, in the entire unit 3 is divided into four different subunits. So, what all things it comprises of? So, you can, you can guess it from the image that I have attached here. So, it comprises of replication. That is how a DNA uh, makes copies of itself. Okay. Uh, the next thing that it comprises of is the process of conversion of information from DNA to RNA, which is transcription. Then it also comprises of the process by which information in the single stranded RNA is converted into an amino acid chain that is translation and how that amino acid chain is further folded, which we call as the post translational modification into proteins. Okay, and not only this three like replication, transcription and translation, along with that, it also uh, has the entire process, okay, where how all of these processes like replication, transcription and translation are controlled, okay. So, this process where a gene that is present in the DNA codes for a functional protein to provide some uh, function in the cell is uh, what we call as gene expression, right? So the process here, it also like unit 3 also includes the process of gene regulation by which each and every single gene's function will be regulated in the cell. See, to understand this gene regulation very simply, so uh, like we, we have so many different cells in our body. But if you talk about the genome content of all of these cells, it's same. But still they work differently, they look differently, they are found in different parts of the body. So how that is done? So the entire thing is done with the help of gene regulation, which makes sure that not all genes are expressed in equal quantity in all the cells. Okay, so some genes will be expressed only in uh, stomach cells, whereas some specific genes will be expressed in the heart cell, which will allow it to do its function in the heart cell. Right. So that, so there are different regulation mechanisms exist. Right. So gene regulation comprises of that. Now, all of these processes, which we also called as the central dogma, this replication, transcription, translation, it happens in eukaryotic cell as well as prokaryotic cell. So there is no differentiation in that term in the syllabus. So syllabus comprises of eukaryotic as well as uh, prokaryotic processes okay all of these processes and even about gene regulation also we will talk about uh, in, in this subunit we uh, there, there's portion where we talk about the eukaryotic gene regulation along with that we talk about prokaryotic gene regulation as well now now coming to the importance of this unit 3 for C, uh, csi ugc net exam so first of all this unit is a very apt, apt unit to start your preparation with. Why? Because gene expression basics are required almost in every unit. Okay. And another thing, like it is very truthfully, it is set fundamental processes because this processes, without these processes, a cell cannot survive. Okay. It cannot survive. It cannot reproduce. So the basic idea of a cell, which means it has to utilize, uh, and it has to produce energy. It has to perform metabolism and it has to replicate. So that those things are not possible without this entire, uh, uh, molecular biology, uh, the, the, the part, the molecular biology part, right? And also another thing is that whether you are from, uh, pure science background, pure life sciences, or you are from applied life sciences, again, this is a part that you have for sure studied. 
okay in your graduation and post graduation so th again this is a unit that you already know maybe you have to prepare a little bit more a little bit in depth for this uh, to to come up to the csi ugc uh, standard okay so definitely this is one of the unit that you cannot skip Now the questions from this unit have no deviation from the syllabus and are to the point and very subject specific. Okay, so there is not a lot of uh, modifications are done in the question. Okay, the questions are kind of straightforward and they are, like the topics which are there in the are covered in the question are kind of it's all there in the syllabus itself. Okay, so not a lot of twisted question come from this segment. And the total number of questions that you can expect from this sub, uh, in from this unit is total 10. Okay, so this total 10, like it comprises of B as well as C. So it can be broken down in any uh, way. So it can be like uh, 6B and 4 uh, C or it can even be the other way where there is 4B and 6C. Okay, or it can be 5, 5. So almost 10 to 11 questions you can expect from this unit 3. Right. Now, let's have a look at the list of the important topics from this unit. Okay. So, the first important thing is the individual stages of all the processes. So, whether you are talking about um, transcription or translation. So, initiation, elongation, termination. Okay. So, these are the steps uh, with the stages in all the processes, transcription as well as translation. So, you have to have an understanding of this. Okay. Now, although if I say that direct directly questions about any of these stages, they usually do not come, but then you just cannot skip it because for understanding the unit, understanding the rest of the things in the unit, you have to have an idea about this uh, processes, right? The stages of the process. Now, from DNA replication also, you have to know the process as well. Okay. Now, apart from that, pro the stages, what other things you should know are the components involved means which are the enzymes that are involved, how the activators are working, what are those activators, where they are binding, the inhibitors, okay, the repressors. So, all of these components, their individual role, where is their binding site. So, all of that should be completely clear to you. Now, coming to DNA replication uh, uh, process, so definitely questions do come from Messelston uh, style experiment. Uh, prokaryotic and eukaryotic uh, replication also and different types of DNA polymerases and their specific function. Okay. So like uh, DNA polymer is one, what does it do? Where is it required? DNA polymer is two, where is, what, it, uh, what it does, where it requires. And along with that, you should also have a very good idea about the function, uh, about the, uh, the, the, the properties of this DNA polymerases. Okay. And this, 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 I, this understanding will not only help you in solving the questions from unit three, but it will also help you in solving questions from other units because it is truthfully and rightfully said that this is fundamental unit okay so when you have the idea about how the genes are working okay how the process is done then only in recombinant dna technology you will understand how to modify it right so these are the things that you that are important now from dna replication part only uh, the subunit there is telomeres uh, telomere replication is quite important okay so you should have a complete understanding about it now dna replication also comes with the dna repair process Okay, now this repair parts are very important. They, so all the repair mechanisms, you have to do it very properly. So whether it is base excision repair or nucleotide excision repair or any other repair mechanism, you should know. Okay, and about the recombination. So there is homologous and site-specific recombination. Now it is, it is better to prepare this homologous and site-specific recombination here because it comes, it is common with unit 8. Okay, so unit 8 in the last subunit is recombination. So that recombination, so two of those recombination you are covering here only. Easy. So you should never miss this part and you should prepare this as well. So this is a, because it's a, it's a common. So here if you prepare, so this part from unit 8 is also getting prepared along with. Now coming with, uh, coming to DNA transcription. So transcription factors in prokaryotes and eukaryotes, you should uh, definitely know. Okay, and also the sequence in the, uh, they bind. Then uh, RNA polymerase machinery, initiation complex formation, capping, 
polyadenylation that is the post transcription mechanism uh, okay so post transcription modifications that happen in the eukaryotic cells are very important questions do come from this capping polyadenylation and as well as splicing okay so what is splicing just knowing what is splicing is not enough now you also have to uh, have an understanding about how a spliceosome works okay so what are the components how it works what are the different types of splicing everything along with rna editing now rna types of rna so here specifically you have to have an understanding of trna its structure and function in protein synthesis that is transcription and translation part so in that the the ribosomes and initiation and elongation factors okay so in in case of translation there are uh, in in case of translation so uh, eukaryotic translation initiation requires 10 or more Uh, uh, factors okay initiation factors so all those factors you have to have an idea about how to uh, how uh, to the function of each of those factors okay so for that you don't have to worry a lot so uh, in in the in the reference books you will get table okay it's already tabulated in many of the in some of the uh, of the uh, standard uh, reference books i will tell you at the end so there you can just refer to the book or you can take a print out of that page where all the initiation factors translation initiation factors along with their function is mentioned okay so everything you get in one table or you can make your own table also for the preparation as well as revision now coming to the another very important part like questions do come and questions are coming very frequently in last couple of years is about amino acyl trna synthetase okay so how it works where it works where in which part of uh, trna it will attach okay so how uh, the min how it maintains the fidelity of the reaction right so like amino acyl trna synthetase what it is it's the enzyme that attaches amino acid to the trna okay so how it recognizes its amino uh, trna how it puts the amino acid there so all these things like lot of questions do come from here part b as well as part c so this is something that you should read in detail amino acyl trna synthetase okay then definitely codons anticodons the various post translational modifications in detail processes as well Uh, now coming to the gene regulation part so gene regulation when we talk about in prokaryotes it is the operons okay so lac operon and tryptophan operon you have to learn in detail okay now questions do not like it it comes from their uh, tradi uh, the the tradition the traditional study also but usually what question come is about mutations okay like so if suppose you mutate a particular gene in the in the lac operon how will be the behavior of lac operon then okay or questions do come that you combine both of this operon you take the uh, take the regulation uh, segments of lac operon and combine it with the gene of tryptophan operon what will be the behavior of this com combination an operon okay so this kind of modification uh, type of questions from operon do come and again operon is a topic which is covered in unit 2 also okay so again a common topic between two units prepare one place add both the units you can cover it right so lac operon tryptophan operon you have to prepare and also you have to prepare the questions okay where there will be a uh, modification so definitely this questions you can only answer when you have a very good and thorough understanding of the operon model now gene regulation coming to gene regulation from eukaryotes yes questions do come from there as well okay so all the controls like why only positive control is there why why do we use positive control in case of eukaryotes how will be the behavior if there is methylation how will be the change if there is acetylation how there will be change in the gene uh, gene expression okay so this is something for sure has to be done the important topic okay and then the rna interference which is used for gene silencing method and this rna interference when you learn it here again you can apply it in unit 12 when we talk about the various recombinant dna technologies okay so guys this is the list of the important topics from unit 3 unit 3 itself is very important you cannot leave much 
of the concepts from there but these are the specifically one where you have to focus okay and i have also told you what are the things in these topics that you have to focus more i hope that helps you now coming to the reference books okay so all the molecular biology books you can refer now the good ones okay which are very good for preparing uh, the exam uh, will be leninger's uh, principle of biochemistry so all of the things which are uh, which are, which are mentioned here are uh, taken as a uh, are, are present in leninger's uh, uh, biochemistry then you can also refer to uh, molecular biology of the gene by watson james watson so so like uh, in leninger's biochemistry the parts the, uh, the, the all of these processes are given and in, it it is given in quite detail okay but if you want to go for a specific thing let's say i talked about that uh, amino acid tRNA synthetase is important so if you want to go in very much depth like you want to learn everything what is there about amino acid tRNA synthetase then definitely watson is the book for you okay so in watson basically the all the components are give, given in very much detail now you don't have to go to that depth for all the, the all the all the topics here but for few things if you are interested you can go th uh, go, uh, go to watson okay otherwise if you are referring to leninger that will be quite good along with that you can also refer to uh, gerald karp cell and molecular biology and also the molecular cell biology by lorsch okay so these four books are very good standard reference books for preparing unit 3 now whenever we talk about the best reference book okay so i will uh, what i feel is that it it differs okay so for me the best will book will be the one which like see for me I, what i feel is all of these books they have the contents okay they all have good standard co content okay so there is no problem in the content but what is the difference in them what i feel majorly is how that content is represented means the language okay so for me i prefer those books where the language is easy for me to understand okay so the book that is easy for me to understand might not be the book for you all right so you have to decide okay so i'm giving you the options these are four different reference books that you can refer for preparing to unit 3 choose the one where you think that the language resonates with, with you the best and you are, are able to understand that language best. Okay. All right then. Thank you everyone for joining me today for the video. I really hope this helps you for preparing the CSIR exam. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.